In this video, I'll show you how we use a sewer camera to locate subslab plumbing. And be sure to stay tuned to the end where I'll tell you why I think it's an essential tool to add to your toolkit. All right, so in a house without drain tile, we often want to be next to plumbing. A suction point right here would be an awesome spot. There's a closet there. Here's where the toilet would be right under me. And we've got a shower there. We've got a plumbing clean out. I'm going to open that up and then I'm going to run my sewer camera down it. And I'm going to figure out where the plumbing in this basement goes. I know we've got the septic over on that corner of the house. Locating it with the sewer camera will help me intercept it maybe in a other spot. Say we need to get suction over there and we can take advantage of the settling next to the plumbing there. And I'm gonna enter the clean out. So this is a hundred foot reel. I'm gonna turn this on and here's my camera display. And then with this, I can locate where the head of that camera is and how deep it is. We've got some water on upstairs that'll help the camera slide a little bit easier. And then it'll also count how many feet inside the pipe I am. And one cool thing too is I can see where there's a fitting or maybe a Y, something else that comes into it. So right now I'm coming up to a fitting which is probably for that shower and I'm nine feet in. So I think I'm gonna figure out where that is, mark it on the floor of the depth, and it'll help me keep tracking along with it. We'll see where it goes. My sewer camera is 10 years old. If I was to replace it today, here's the one I would get. So my camera is right below here. I can't get directly over it. Uh, I'd have to move it a little bit, but then I could get the depth. Okay, so see that little ball? And this number is like 3,000 something, that means the signals, signal is stronger. So I find one of those and I can mark where it is. It's gonna be one side of it. Now I can find the other one. So it looks like the other one's back here. So right between here and here is called the equator. So I've got one ball over there, one ball there. I should be able to rotate this and get the depth. Let's tell me to rotate right here. So seven inches down from here is where we have the shower drain come in from over there. So we know it goes from the toilet to here and we're seven inches down and then it runs directly over here. So there, we're about 20 feet. So let's go find where that is. And we're directly over one of them there. So I'll just use one of these. And there's the other one. So we're nine inches down right there. So we're one foot two down right here. So if we had trouble reaching this part of the house, since it's unfinished, we could run a pipe along and drop down here and we'd probably, this would be an excellent spot for a suction point because the plumbing is deep, it's the one foot two down and there's gonna be a lot more settling here than there is where the plumbing is, you know, six inches below the slab because they dug a deeper trench here. So a potential suction point here would be uh, good, just harder to hide it. You know, might have to frame the wall out a little bit for that. So now that we've got the plumbing mapped out, we'll start with doing some diagnostic test holes. Here's why I think it's essential that you have a sewer camera as a mitigator. The main reason is it takes so much guesswork out of your project. You don't have to guess, is the drain tile plugged somewhere? Why am I not reaching over there? Where is the drain tile? Where does the subslab plumbing go? Where is the subslab ducts? What kind of shape are they in? You can use the sewer camera to find and locate everything. So it will make your life easier.